A video game is an immersive, mentally stimulating art form generated from the computer technology of our modern era. It is a thoroughly new phenomenon never previously witnessed throughout all of human history. This technological medium offers a promise of powerful artistic expression, stretching the boundaries of the entertainment experience. Video games give us experiences that we would never otherwise find, skills that we can take on to other spheres of our lives, and can offer cure to existential ennui. As a generation raised on playing video games approaches adulthood, we can look forward to an ever-expanding artistic revolution. We're not talking about Pong anymore. We're talking about virtual reality. These aren't just games anymore, they're experiences. Well, one of the most interesting things is that uh, humanity has lived in physical reality for all of our civilization, and now there is a, 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 something that's competitive uh, you can live in virtual reality or physical reality. It's still something I engage in socially with my friends, with my family. Um, it's always just been, hey, let's go on adventures together. Let's go have a good time. Four examples of games that boast deep meaning are Missile Command, which gave players a realistic sense of wartime tension when sacrifices must be made for the greater good, Mist, which gave players the experience of scientific exploration and admiration of natural and artificial beauty. Bioshock, which explored the concepts of Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged in a dystopian struggle for survival. And Silent Hill 2, which used a thematic horror environment to deeply explore a character's psyche. There's a video game about Dante's Inferno. That's a classic piece of literature. Wildly inaccurate, but still really cool. A 2005 study found that young adults who played video games performed better than non-players at the task of managing several objects over time, showing that game playing improves the ability to count. A 2014 study found that players of first-person shooter games had better visual spatial skills than non-players. A 2008 study of World of Warcraft players showed that amid the banter, players' social interactions revealed higher levels of scientific thought. A study of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 players showed that habitual gamers are more likely to demonstrate strategic insight than casual players. Researchers in 2013 found a relationship between playing games and persistence in solving problems. A 2013 study even showed that habitual gamers of strategic video games are more likely to have higher academic performance than non-gamers. A life skill that I got from gaming was probably my hand-eye coordination actually really improved just from like learning how to quickly use the controls in my hands and my vision to just pick out things very quickly. They really helped out with that. Being patient and having the confidence to try things over and over uh, when things don't go my way. Uh, just kind of fostering that patience even in the face of frustration. I think cognitive reasoning is, is one that I, I've found where my ability to interpret information um, in a, you know, expedited manner um, improved. I have, I have more patience from playing video games than I do from anything else, I think. Oh uh, yeah, gaming uh, growing up really helped with my hand-eye coordination. Uh, so, like the thinking of what I was doing without actually looking at my hands and stuff, I feel like it really helped me just develop um, my hand-eye coordination for athletics and just kind of like my, also my uh, motor skills. I learned to read maps because of games, uh, specifically <laughs> my family and I were traveling in Italy and my parents were absolutely utterly lost because they couldn't read the map and I was like, well, we're here, so this is where we need to get. I can get us there. It's helped me socially because it's something fun that lots of different types of people engage in and it's been... Um, really important to make those connections and kind of foster that community. Um, and there are of course negative aspects to communities, but in general I found it a very positive experience. Some people even form such strong bonds that it leads to love. Personally, I was tickled by the story of the guy who proposed to his girlfriend in a Halo 3 match, where he led her to an arrangement of weapons spelling out the message, Marry Me? It's time to stop playing around and recognize the value of video games.